all the viewers out there, brother. I'm your boy DJ Primetime 256, brother. Don't forget the 256. <laughs> and this is my man Roja. And tell me where we're at, Roja. Oh, we're at the hospital. Yes. Comic. Oh. And Pop Culture Expo. Mm, brother. And I heard you're excited to be here, brother. What are you excited here for, brother? Because we're about to talk to some Power Rangers, mm. the Pink Ranger and the Yellow Ranger, Captain Sun and the Kill Marie. Mm. And you know, they're part of my, some of my favorite series. Uh, favorite yeah. installments of the series. Okay, yeah. okay. Ah. <laughs> Well, as you know, brother, there's one reason and one reason only I'm excited, brother. And that's because we are here. And there's some wrestling fans in the building, brother. You talk about other TV shows and you talk about other podcasts. And then, brother, what you got? You got Out the Box TV. Yeah. And if you want to watch Out the Box TV, ah, brother, you can watch it on YouTube. Ah. You can watch it on Amazon, brother. And if you want to watch it on Facebook, you can do it on Facebook and the IG, brother. But uh, there's a lot going down. And I need you, brother. And Sister, I need you. Uh, if you're sitting in your living room uh, and you, uh, uh, you don't know what to do with the kids, go put the badasses up and watch this episode out the box TV. Let's get it. Did you miss me? It's your boy Roj. Out the Box TV, your man Roger. I'm chilling with a legendary character on all of children's television, even though, she, even whether she believes it or not, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series. So you was on Zio, and you were on Turbo, yes. and you was on the Turbo movie, Miss Nakia Baris at the Huntsville Expo and Pop Culture, Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo. Yes. That's a lot of words. Yes. Yes. So, okay, let's break it down first. Let's, let's give everybody down. a little bit of history. You were the third black Power Ranger. Yes. Zach was the first, Aisha was the second, and you came in as the second Yellow Power Ranger. Yes. So you didn't even realize you were like making historic moves at the time, did you? I did not, because when I auditioned for Power Rangers, I didn't even know what Power Rangers was at the time. Okay. I was in college, I was studying to act, and I get this audition for Power Rangers, they tell me to wear yellow. I didn't know that I was auditioning to be a Power Ranger either. Okay. Um, they said, wear yellow, you're gonna be a series regular. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I didn't know I was replacing Karen or anything like that. So yeah, come full circle almost 30 years later, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Power Ranger still has a cult following and it's, it's yes. an extreme <laughs> blessing. Yes. Now, my question, because you're not wearing yellow today, how often does someone walk up to you and they expect you to be wearing like yellow because that's what well, you guys did on the show? Not as much anymore. When I first started doing cons, I wore yellow all the time. And then mm -hmm. I was like, you know what? I had to do that for two years straight. <laughs> I'm good. Right. I'm going to, you know, mix it up a little bit. Today I have on pink, which is my my sister's color yes. pretty much. But yeah, yeah. I okay. had to wear it every day. Okay. Now, a lot of people, when they start on the show, they had like the martial arts background. And I'm hearing that you didn't even have to know how to fight or anything for this to get the part. But eventually you did transition where you were doing the choreographed fights and everything. Was that like a scary thing for you to learn or were you no. like, was that a challenge you like jumped in on? And was oh, it was the best. <laughs> I came in as a dancer. They basically wanted to make sure that I could do choreography. Okay. And because I was a dancer, I knew how to do choreography. Right before we did the, um, we filmed the Turbo movie, we had to do six weeks of fight training. Okay. The best. I recommend it to anybody. It is such a great workout, but it's just so fun fighting. Okay. But you know, not beating up people in real life. Well, you know what? The funny thing is to learn that you didn't have a history of martial arts and learning how to fight. Like your fight style was one of my favorites. Thank you. I'm not even lying, like really, because it was like this edgy kind of street feel to it versus like a technical martial arts joint too. So I was like. So she's always part of like my, my fantasy dream team Thank Ranger you. lineups. So uh, so not only did you do Power Rangers uh, commercials, of course, saw you in Moesha when I was watching it when it was on at the time. So when we revisited, when they hit Netflix, I was like, there's my girl. So uh, how 
was doing different projects like Moesha or the commercials. How did that differ from your work on Power Rangers as an actress? Well, first and foremost, Power Rangers was non-union. Okay. So my first job after Power Rangers was union, and it was you're just in a completely different field then. Okay. Because when you're working a non-union job, you're they can work you as long as they want. Okay. And you don't get overtime, you don't get residuals, you don't get any of that. Um, you know, at the time, I didn't really know anything about that. I was just happy to be working. Right. My first job after Power Rangers was Smart Guy. Okay. And we did, you know, it was, it's a sitcom, so it was completely different. My first introduction to sitcoms, which I really loved, because it was like theater and film all together, and right. I have a theater background. So we, you know, we're rehearsing um, the first couple of days, and then you perform in, for a, in front of a live studio audience. Okay. And then you also have the cameras all over you, and it was just, oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> right. So much fun. Um, so that's one thing, one's union and one's not union. And then, you know, all of those shows that I've been blessed to do, I get to, explore. I've done a lot of comedy since okay. Power Rangers. Right now I have a recurring role on Danger Force where I play the mom to two superhero twins, which is pretty funny, the <laughs> okay. fact that I was a superhero. Um, so that's a, a sitcom, it's okay. funny. Um, so I've really found my, my, my dad and my brothers, I just come from a funny home background where cracking jokes on one another and calling each other names <laughs> right. is just a term of endearment. Right. Um, so my life after Power Rangers, that's what I've kind of strived for. And now I'm, I plan on producing more this okay. year and offering other jobs to other people and just, you know, going all out and everything that God has, has blessed me. Okay. And speaking of that, do. you did create your own YouTube series, Class Dismissed. How is uh, that for, how much more fulfilling is that for you being behind the scene that's versus? That's what I want to do. That's what you want to do? That's what I want to do. The writing and the producing and all this. You know, pretty much like what me and PT do here <laughs> on Out the Box. Like, it's, yeah. it's work, but it's a, it's a lot of fun when you it get to see your project come to when life. when you're doing it. And, you know, Class Dismissed became, I revamped it and, and reworked some things. And I, and I, it became known as Life After Saving the World. It became a few, full length pilot. I pitched it to a couple of things, a couple of producers, and then I see Abbott Elementary on television. Yes. <laughs> and I'm like... I did get that feel when I, when I watched Class Dismissed. Did I said, you? I said, I, I kind of could see that. But. I was like, uh, that looks like my show. <laughs> that, you know, my principal was just like, that. I was just like, I actually had an audition for it. Mm -hmm. And Kat was with me. And when I read the script, I was like, this looks like my show. Can't prove it's my show, right. obviously, but it looked very much like the show that I had written and right. that I had. So I'm just going to drop that right there. So now <laughs> I'm very conscientious about what I put out. Mm -hmm. Even when you register material, if you can't prove that something, and I'm not saying she stole my show or nothing like that, you know, somebody, I don't know. I don't know. But it's very similar to what I wrote back in 2016 right. and has pitched right before COVID. And producers were like, oh, this is fabulous. I love it. And da, da, da. But nobody was picking it up. But I don't know who they were talking to. Right. We're going to leave it at there. So just make sure that you know when you, you know, when you come up with ideas, don't share it with everybody. And I, that's not something that I do. Register your idea, copyright your idea, and make sure that you have a paper trail. Okay. And I do have a paper trail, but I'm just, you know, when you're creating your own stuff, just make sure you do that. Just make sure. All my content creators, word to the wise. Now I have to... Uh, Wait, let me go back and say, I'm not saying that this is my show or blaming her and saying it's my show. It's just very similar. Gotcha. 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 Now, Turbo came about. And I, what I noticed the difference between Zio and Turbo is that you did more unmoored fights mm -hmm. in Turbo versus Zio. And I think I did some research and figured there was a lot of complaints from parents uh, during the Zio era. So you had to kind of be costumed to fight. Yeah. But that, the show, like, that's not how to, what the show, right. what was going on? So, well, like, that's how we was went, those conversations? Well, that's why we had those public service announcements, those PSAs. Kids, <laughs> do not put your brother in a toe <laughs> and uh, wipe him out. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had to do so many public service announcements because parents were complaining about their children beating up one another. And that's, that's why during a child, Zio... I loved playing Power Rangers. <laughs> to the throat, exactly. you know what I'm saying? That's it, to the throat! <laughs> <laughs> Just Not saying. to the neck, but to the throat. Right here, you know right what I'm saying? Right there, right there. Um, oh my God. Yeah, so 
in Zio, we didn't fight. Those were all of our stunt guys. Okay. And so Turbo, when Turbo came around, that's when the getting got good. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And we got to, we did six weeks of fight training, and we did the movie, and then we went into the series, and we had all the civilian fighting, and that was fun. Got you. I love Turbo. And then halfway through the season, they just, out the blue, watching this as a, as a I was a teenager then, but watching this, and I think I missed the second part of the two-parter when they, when you, Actually, passing the departure, the, passing, passing of the, of the power. torch. So when I came back the next day, and it was a whole new cast, I was just like, I missed something. I <laughs> was hurt. <laughs> I was very upset because I was like, I missed something. I don't understand it. Like, who are these people and what's going on? And so when it, you know, re-aired and I saw, it, and I was just kind of like, oh, that's just. <sighs> but I, I found out that you guys, it, like, the story behind how you guys found out that you were being replaced was kind of shady. Yeah. What did of, you hear? Well, I heard that uh, Johnny. Mm -hmm brought a newspaper clip in our newspaper article to the set and showed you guys that they were having auditions for New Rangers. That would be correct. Wow, and so that's how you guys found out that you were being, like nobody sat and you down and we, had a conversation. And then Kat and I actually approached one of the writers, she hears her name, and was like, <laughs> um, yeah, they were asking us, actually they had asked Kat uh -huh. to read with with, uh, yes, with one of my, who was, ended up being Tracy. Okay. Um, and Kat was like, hell to the no. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, so you want me to right. read with the person that's coming in and taking right. our spot. And so we were like, oh, because you're replacing us? And they were in deny, 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 deny. And then it became a big, like, blow up. Yeah, it was, it was special. The way that it, it was not handled well. Wow. And, you know, years later, we've gotten a chance to, talk to um, you know the writers producers during that time but they were put in a position themselves uh -huh. you know it came from from the top and so they couldn't exactly say oh yeah we're replacing you no even though it's in the newspaper yeah wow. that's a lie okay wow. um, but you know it is what it is mm -hmm. everything happens for a reason you move on and we're still able to do this so right. well I'm just gonna admit to the point that I didn't watch the full season of space until like COVID. <laughs> when we were in the house, I said, okay, this will be a good time to go and just, and it was actually a pretty decent series, but that would have felt better for me watching it, knowing that they didn't just randomly do the second half of the turbo. It was, it was listen, I felt the way. I felt the way. I felt the way. But. Listen, listen, <laughs> I felt away. way. I felt a way. Matter of fact, after I left, uh -huh. I didn't watch anything else after that. Listen, well, that was after the end of pa pa Power Rangers for me. That was it. That was it. I That's feel a wrap. You. I feel you. I'm not mad at you. Nakia, <laughs> oh, before I let you go, I have to ask, because I know you guys were working on, uh, was it The Force? Not The Force. What's the movie? Danger Force? The, the, the movie, Order. The Order. Uh, what's the status of that? Is that still happening? It is. It has been, you know, it has been a project that Karen has tried to get off the ground again and again and we were one week away from filming okay screen actors Guild came in out of the blue and decided that they want to charge us for this and charge us for that and did it, it basically bankrupt us wow okay. and caused everything that was raised to be spent to screen actors guild and fees and lawyer fees and things like that and it bankrupted the production so we weren't able to film it and you know karen has been relentless in trying to still get this project up and going but it's been at a standstill and then you know COVID hit so it's just been but she's relentless she's a hard worker and mm -hmm. she's determined to get to get it off the ground well i hope we get to um, see it because the trailer alone was ah, yeah i was like oh so yeah. we gotta get that so we hope it we hoping it happens well yes. miss nakia i appreciate your time again one of my faves I'm not even lying, Aww. for real, one of my faves. And I appreciate you taking the time to talk to Out The Box today. And we're gonna make sure they check you out, nakiabarese.com, yes. all your other projects and everything Two they need to know. Two R's and one S. Two R's and right one S. Right here. It's right there. It right here. Invisible, <laughs> but it's gonna come up. It's gonna come up, y'all. <laughs> y'all keep it locked right here. We got more coming up right here on Out The Box. Out The Box. <laughs> Word. <laughs> out The Box TV. We're here at Huntsville Comic and Pop Expo. And I'm walking down, right? And I was like, who is Teddy Long? And this guy right here is like, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know who Teddy Long is? Tell me what you told me. Man, Teddy Long is a legend, a legend in the wrestling business. Uh -huh. And you know, Teddy Long is a fantastic referee. Uh -huh. I mean, did a lot of WrestleMania shows. He also is one heck of a general manager. Mm. You know, booking great matches, 
He's done a lot for Booker T down in Texas too, SWE, and he is a Hall of Famer with the WWF. He got a beautiful ring. I saw in the elevator today when I ran into him. Now, tell him the reason why you stopped me. Who are you and what do you do? Oh, so my name is Griff Briggs. I am one of the owners of SRG Universe. Mm -hmm. We are the number one wrestling game in the world, 8.2 on Board Game Geek, which is huge, huge in the board games. And we have a game called Super Show. Okay. And it is amazing. It, it'll make you feel just like you were in a wrestling match. I mean, so much so you'll probably try to hit me with a chair. Really? But they won't let me do it out here. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. Got to sign the insurance waivers. Way too expensive for all that. So yeah. that's going to be way better than me playing WWE 2K. Oh, are you kidding? Hey, I mean, that's I mean, probably why I didn't know who Teddy Long is. That's listen, bro, that's you got a show. Like, you can cut a promo. You can put, cut a live promo over there. You can get on. You can wrestle somebody else. I mean, you can do it all. Really? If you ever want to do it in a wrestling ring, you can absolutely do it in my game. Okay, so I got to say this. Before we get out of here, before we get out of here, my favorite wrestler is Ric Flair. I got to Woo! meet him at the 50 yard line, and that's all I need. Before oh, we get man. out of here, I'm gonna say, we, hey, we're here at Huntsville Comic and Pop Expo. Give me one good woo. Woo! <laughs> Appreciate you, yeah, bro. <laughs> I got you. Out the Box TV, I'm here with the second Pink Ranger of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers series, Miss Catherine Sutherland, and you did MMPR. Yes. You did, um, Zio, yes. you did Turbo, you yes. did the Turbo movie, yes. <laughs> and then you came back for the 25th anniversary, like you were all throughout the, yes. uh, four the Power different, Rangers. Yes, four different suits. Okay, which one is your favorite? Ninja. Okay, I, listen, Ninjetti suit. Ninjetti was like Pajamas. so slept on, I loved it, it was very comfortable. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, you came in, of course, uh, I heard that you got, you actually got your citizenship from uh, coming to work I, on the Power I Rangers. actually, when I came on the show, I had a visa. And then okay. when I left the show, they helped me get my green card. Gotcha. And then I got became a citizen, I think it was like right before I got married. Okay. Somewhere in there. So just all yeah. up in the thing. Okay, yeah. so <sighs> we talked about a favorite series, Nin Ninjetti, but how you came in, you, you had some big shoes to fill. Mm -hmm. And so I know it was a lot that came your way. It was a lot of pressure. But when do you feel that you found your footing in the Power Rangers universe? Definitely Zio, because okay. that was like my season. I feel like I really evolved as a character in that season. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Okay. I, I figured she would say Zio. Now the Turbo <laughs> movie. <laughs> the 25 years since the Turbo I movie. I know. Turbo? Isn't that crazy? Oh, so it's I don't hard know to if I'm, uh, whose age I'm telling, but that was 25 oh years ago. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that makes we worked so it out. But she was the only one got to morph Zio. I know. In the movie. You know, in the original script, they explained why we lost our Zio powers. Okay. But I don't remember exactly. I know there was something with Adam and Tanya underwater, and there was a mermaid and their, their suits like shredded. So I don't know, something happened, like the crystals lost their power, but it, they didn't explain that at all. Yeah, it's it was just, just like, like our powers just went powers. away and here you go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but it seemed like there was but, a lot of that going on, and yeah. behind, at least behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. uh, the drama that happened behind the scenes, did it make you kind of not value your time as a ranger at no. all? Or there was it like, this is worth it. This drama no, is I, worth I, it. I, I will always value my time on the show. I just think the way that it was handled was very unfortunate, right? Because it it just uh, really diminished the the what we contributed to the show, mm -hmm. and it was unfair to the fans that they just kind of expected them just to carry on, and there was no real explanation of why we were leaving. Even right. just it was time to pass your powers on or whatever. Right. Um, so no disrespect to the actors that took over; they were wonderful and did a great job. But it just, I think they should have had us finish out the season mm -hmm. and then started space with the, with right. the new cast. I could have got with that. Like, I, I was telling the kid that hurt me. Oh, <laughs> it hurt because it I, hurt I, I legit missed the second part. Like, I don't know what was going on that week. I was a yeah. teenager. I was, I don't yes. know. And I missed that part. So when I came back the next day and it was like a whole new cast and a whole new alpha. And yeah. I, I was lost. I was like. Well, who is this? What yeah, is going I, on I didn't here? know, but I kind of stuck it out to the end. But I watched like the first few episodes of Space and then I was just done. Yeah. So I just revisited Space during the whole quarantine. And yeah. It was, it was a pretty it's decent. It's a good season. Yeah, it's actually a, a decent season. But mm -hmm. I, my heart is always with the cast all the way up through space, like yes. the transition that yes. you guys made or whatever. So what was your favorite part about doing unmorphed fights? Oh yeah, that, the civilian fights. It was just fun. I mean, working with the stunt guys, they were so professional and so good at what they did. Um, and it was just fun to be like a badass, you know? <laughs> My I favorite morph, that. 
you yes. and Nakia, uh, the shift in the turbo, right, at graduation. When we're running and we, yeah. Yes, and like, it, was, it was some of the, the hottest. Yes. I loved it. I was like, oh, they're badass. It was I love slow -mo, it. slow-mo, the hair. <laughs> yes. So I know that uh, they're always talking about the, the length of days, work days. Yes, um, long days. So, like, what was the average, like, what would be, like, the average day that you would go take, like, because you do always, several episodes at one time, right? Yeah, we do three episodes over two weeks, and usually I was the first one to be called in, because Jason Frank had long hair also, but by the time we got to Turbo, he was done straightening his hair, so right. he <laughs> just let it go wild and curly. Gotcha. Um, so I was usually called in about 5.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. And we would work about 12 hours and then usually have to go and do ADR, like recording all of our voiceover stuff when we're in the helmets. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we work like 15 to 16 hour days sometimes. Yeah, long, long dedication, days. But we dedication, dedication. I was 20 years old. Like, yeah, it know. was easier then. It was easier. a lot easier then. Let me yes. tell you, if I don't get a nap this current <laughs> this current time in my life, I if I don't get a nap naps. during the day, I... Uh. I wish I could. I cannot relax my mind to take a nap. Oh. You got to use the sleep app. We'll talk about that later. Oh, the sleep <laughs> we're gonna, app. We're going to talk got about it. that later. Okay, so how she, how Miss Catherine came in for the people that watched or didn't watch, you were a cat. Yes. An actual cat. I was. And I uh, cat. to infiltrate the Power Ranger circle, and then yes. you were evil. Was it fun being evil? Yes. You loved being evil? It was really fun. <laughs> it's always fun to be opposite of yourself, and mm -hmm. like that's when I really got to play around and be jealous and scowl at Kimberly and Tommy. And mm -hmm. yeah, it was really fun. Gotcha. So she came in, she was evil character. Then they saved her and then yes. she ends up saving them. The powers and... got wore off. Finally, I realized who I truly am. And mm -hmm. then the cat, yeah, no more And cat, you were a swimmer and cat. a ballerina on the show. I was a swimmer, I was a, a skier, I was a diver, I was a dancer, <laughs> singer. So I like mean, she said, she was bad cat, at it. valedictorian. <laughs> it was like, this girl could do everything. So yes. how closely related were you to your character? In your real life version of yourself and your character? I'm very motherly. I'm very nurturing. Um, so I identified with her that way. Um, we're both dancers. Um, I think that her concern and care for other people, I would say, is like me. Um, and yeah, they, they took a lot of our own personality and kind of uh, rolled it into the show. I just, Kat was like a superhero version of me I think like gotcha. she was like amazing at everything I'm not amazing at everything <laughs> she's but. amazing, she's amazing. <laughs> but you uh so we're bringing it up to current day and yes. you and uh Nikia you have what you call Power, Power Rangers, Rangers playback. playback and you kind of revisit old episodes and talk about whatever was happening behind the scenes or what your yes. favorite parts of what shooting for that uh, how did you guys come up with the concept of getting that together? Yeah, so we were at a con in um, convention in Scotland. Okay. And we were there with a couple of voiceover actors that also had a YouTube channel and they were best friends. And their line was like gigantically long. And Nikki and I are going, what? What is Re Retro Replay was the name of their show. Okay. And so someone was explaining it was their YouTube channel. And we thought we should do something like that. We're best friends and we travel together and out we should do something for our fandom. So we were throwing around different ideas and, and then we thought, well, what are, what are the fans when we meet them? What do they really ask us? Like, what right. do they want? And it was always like, when you filmed this episode, what happened and how did it feel to put on the suit? And what was it like to morph? And how did they do this? So they would ask us like behind the scenes questions. So we thought, let's focus there. Like right. watch an episode and talk about what it was like. Right. So we did that and then like the first, right before we were about to launch it, She's calling me, freak, the kid's calling me freaking out. Oh my gosh, we just got copyright claims. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so we tried to do fair use and like adjust it and add things right. to the video, but they kept claiming copyright claiming hating. us. They were yeah, hating. They, were, they just, <laughs> would, it's their footage, they own it, even though it's our faces. But right. um, so we were like trying to come up with other ideas and then COVID hit. Right. And so it gave us a lot of time to invest in the show and come up with ideas and things we thought the fans would like. Mm -hmm. So we have a game show called Who's and Knows It Best, which is like a Power Ranger trivia. We have um, skits that we do where we have like alter egos. Like I have a character called Negative Nancy that's right. just completely opposite of me. She's like, hates everyone. She's angry all the time. She's unkept. She's like just awful. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and then she has a character called Doris is like this old, cranky old New York ex-smoker. Right. Like, so we have funny characters like that. We have 
um, interviews with different Power Rangers. Mm -hmm. um, we do a episode thing called Five Questions where we have um, an, a Power Ranger actor uh, answer five questions about their favorite episode. Gotcha. So we have all different segments. There's lots of content on there. And it started off as just something fun for us to do together and give back to our fans. And it's really grown and turned into this beautiful community. And we now have membership and offer all these other things. So it's gotcha. been such a lovely gift and a lovely way to connect to the fans. Got you. I love it. Well, before yes. I let Miss Catherine go, I got to ask you, if you were to assemble your dream team oh. of Rangers, of course, you're on the team, but what other four Rangers would you put on the team? Any generation in any installment of Rangers, who would you choose? I want to see a girl team. Okay. So I have to have Nakia, of course. Okay. Um, Karen Ashley. Okay. Aaron Cahill. Okay. I think. I'm going to put a new Ranger. I really like Hunter Dino from Beast. Uh, I think she was, no, Dino Fury. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to check it out. I've yes. seen episodes here and there of different installments. I, I've only seen her at one episode because we had her on our show and she is so fun and adorable. Mm -hmm. I just love her personality in real life so I would want like a little youngster, a little, she's like spunky. I <laughs> yeah. gotta love it. Well, Miss Catherine, thank you for your time. Thank, thank you. Thank you for checking in with Out the Box. You guys, we're gonna check out more that's going on right here at the Huntsville Comic and Pop Culture Expo. So y'all keep it locked right here. It's Out the Box. Bye. <laughs>There's one thing I know for sure, all right? And that's that I'm a winner. All right. What I need you to do is get your kids, get your wife, right? And tell them to come see me here at Comic-Con Pop Huntsville. Woo!